Hey everyone, welcome back to Primal Reef and Acrylics. Um, today we're going to be talking about how to replace uh, the cartridges in your reverse uh, osmosive uh, water system. Um, I, I purchased mine from maxwaterflow.com. So if you log onto the website, they will actually uh, sell you the stuff online. Um, I found this to be the cheapest dealer in the Toronto and the GTA area. They do have an online store for all you guys uh, in the States and uh, international. You can purchase a system online. Um, when you do contact Max Water, just leave a little note. Tell them that you've seen the video on Primal Reef and Acrylics website. Uh, I'm sorry, on my YouTube channel. And from there, they would go ahead and see if they can work out a discount for you. But uh, here are my three cartridges. I have the sediment filter, the one micron. I have the activated carbon. And then I have uh, the carbon filter. Across from it, I have the DI. So DI is just a little powder resin. Uh, what we're going to do with that is they're going to put that into the DI uh, cartridge, which is at the top there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open this up now. So with your uh, reverse osmosis system, you're going to get this little key. And this key, pretty much, it goes inside, or maybe not. Um, okay, sorry. It's just the way I have it hooked up. Alright. Wow, that's pretty tough. Okay, the first one's unlocked. Unlock the second one. stuff is on pretty tight. Sorry about that guys. This stuff is on really tight. There we go. Okay, three of them unlocked. Just have a pail of a bucket so you can drain everything into the bucket in case it does leak okay, drop it into the bucket this just comes to show you how much dirt comes out from the filter so this is the first one just please remember how you connect it and how you hook it up because it does play a big role why am I holding this okay the second one now and this is your carbon Okay, again, remember how this is, comes in because it has a top plate and it has a bottom one. Uh, in my system, the bottom one comes with all the little brackets here, uh, the, the, uh, the triangles. The top is with the ring. With this ring, it locks into the filter so there's no leakage on it. So that's the second one. And last but not least... I have the carbon filter and this is also a little black okay so I've got three cartridges here the first one here it's going to be the pre-filter this is a one micron pop that in make sure it's centered and then you can lock it in Second, I have what I have here. I have the activated carbon. Now, in the activated carbon, a 
again, remember the triangle, guys? And then the washer, the rubber uh, ring at the top. Slide that in. And then fasten it into place. And lastly, we have the carbon filter. Okay, this has a rubber gasket on both sides, so it really doesn't matter how you put it in. And there were no actual instructions on it, so if there's no instructions on how to put it in, then it only goes in one way. I'm having trouble. There we go. You take your actual key, lock it into place. You got your carbon locked into place, and then the one micron filter. Tighten it with your hand and then again lock that into place. The RODI stage now is a little difficult. You're going to have to unscrew this right here. Okay, so unscrew that. pop it off the system and then you can unscrew this part here uh, this is not easy to come off Okay, there we go. So for the DI stage, if you want to come to the washroom with me now, follow along. Okay, we're at the sink. All you want to do is unscrew the top. Take the first filter out. Wash this. Get rid of the old debris. And then all the DI. Pop one over here, the DI. Run your water. Rinse it off a couple times. And then you can empty it. There we go. Okay, there you go, your DI is done. So if you follow me again. Actually, hang on, hang on for one second. I just forgot, uh, I just forgot the, the DI cap. Okay. So here we go. Okay, I'm going to take your DI, cut a little slot at the top. And just pour this guy, this bad boy, right in. Now this is very very fine sediment so be careful, you don't want to spill this all over your floor. And as I suspected, it's not coming out that easy. Oh, almost had a fall.
Now, when you guys, how you know when to replace it, don't look at the cartridge and see, oh, it's getting brown, I should replace it, or it's too brown, I should not replace it yet, maybe I can get another gallon or two out of it. Don't do that because it's going to be, um, it's, you, you really need a TDS meter that's total dissolved solids. That's what TDS means. Um, so get a TDS meter and on a regular basis, check to see how much, um, what your TDS is, is, is at. Because once it starts going above, I think, three or four, I, I, I panic and then I don't, and then I tend to replace this stuff right away. So again, you got everything else in. Okay, and all you're going to do is just compact everything guys, make sure it's nice and compacted at the bottom with your fingers. Uh, do this by a sink so you can actually replace everything, uh, so you can wash your hands because this stuff is it's like tiny, tiny little pellets. Okay guys, thank you for watching, um, I'm going to assemble this now, so just this is a quick video. Okay, everything was done under 12 minutes. If you guys have any comments, rate, subscribe and like. And any more videos to come, I'll post and stay tuned for future videos.